I remember when I woke up from the surgery, I remember the first thing I saw was Dr. Klesi's face. And he said, Angela, we got it all, 100% of it. And I just remember feeling so relieved and so happy and so grateful that the whole thing was removed and I didn't have to go through any more of that again. I um, first noticed my symptoms when I was in my drawing class and I was um, drawing eyes. And it was strange because I was drawing and I didn't know what path I was drawing and brain got kind of fuzzy. And I thought I, I was just tired and, um, and I just kind of didn't think much of it. I, you know, went to bed and I woke up in the ER is what happened from, in my perspective. And it was crazy because, I mean, I didn't know what was going on, how I got there. Angie was a terrific candidate uh, here at UC San Diego Health for the MR guided surgery because she had precisely the situation the system was designed for. A high grade intrinsic tumor, meaning a tumor that's infiltrating the substance of her brain in a key part of her brain. The Jacobs Medical Center with our uh, quad pod of four uh, neuro operating rooms, two of which have MRI capability and two of which have CT capability, are, are critically important and able to provide bleeding edge procedures in terms of image guidance and making sure that you're achieving the technical goals of surgery. So going into Angie's surgery, we weren't necessarily clear on what grade of tumor that she had. It, she'd actually received opinions from other institutions that told her that that cancer was inoperable. And so she was an ideal candidate to be the, the, the first person at UC San Diego Health to actually have this MR-guided procedure. Well, I was really impressed with the idea of the technology, being able to see, you know, what was brain tissue and what was uh, cancer tissue. A lot of what we do in the operating room is try to use the electrical activity of the brain, sophisticated neuro navigation with our integrated navigation, and the MRI to take out as, as much as we safely can. We're then able to check our work with the intraoperative MRI, so the MRI will wheel into the room, we'll get a real-time image, and then we'll know precisely if we've left tumor behind where that is and can make a judgment using our navigation to then remove that additional tumor and get a second scan um, or decide to stop uh, out of concern for the safety of the patient. Uh, this has been uh, the culmination of a lot of uh, work and planning and effort uh, and, and I think it, it's fully in keeping with the mission of UC San Diego Health to really make sure that no one ever has to leave San Diego for world-class hit care. If I didn't have the interoperative MRI, I feel like I might have had to have had more surgeries and that means more recovery time and more downtime and um, it would have been prolonged and more agonizing. And I'm just so grateful that we had that available to us. It was like I said, an, an answer to our prayers, really. You know, I can keep up with my four boys and doing the things that I need to do, doing homework, doing, you know, the sports that they're involved in and able to do all those things that I was doing before. It's so amazing that I'm back to being who I was and with a different perspective on life. <laughs>